Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So I was helping uh, Cabrini out with uh, adding a second battery in the tour pack of his bike. So I figured if he had these questions, then a lot of other people would have these questions. So I decided to do a quick video on it. So the ideal situation when upgrading your batteries is to do the same battery, same age, same size in the tour pack uh, or under the tail as you are under the seat. But sometimes it's just the limitations don't allow us to do it and you have to use a bigger battery sometimes depending on the current draw. So in a perfect world where everything was equal and everything was easy, you would do a 28 amp hour, a 38 amp hour, a 30 amp hour under the seat and the matching 30 amp hour in the tour pack. Same brand, same size. It would make it easier, easier to charge. But in certain situations, you have to mix lithium with uh, standard AGM batteries, which technically you're not supposed to do, but sometimes you don't really have a choice. So we've been dealing with lithium batteries for the longest times, building big SPL vehicles and stuff that has ridiculous current draw. And at the beginning, manufacturers would not allow you to put a lithium battery under the hood because of the heat from the engine. So you have to run a standard AGM battery or a lead acid battery, and then a bank of lithium batteries in the back. So in order to do this, you would have to have some sort of isolator or relay to keep the charger from the lithium batteries from overcharging the AGM or lead acid in the front because the batteries have completely different characteristics. For the same reason that a lithium battery gives off way more initial power than an AGM battery is the same issues that you have when you charge. A standard lead acid battery or an AGM battery sits at between 12.6 and 12.3. Healthy brand new battery should be around 12.6. When it charges, it likes to charge at 14 to 14.5. Lithium batteries rest at 14, 14.5, and they like to charge at 16 volts. So if you use a lithium charger on an AGM or a lead acid battery, you will overcharge it because those batteries charge at 14 volts, you will be charging a full two volts higher. Plus the regulator built inside of the chargers for the lithiums will not allow the battery to charge when it's below or above a certain voltage. ADM, AGM chargers aren't like this. Lithium batteries are very volatile. They need to be charged a certain way or they can explode. Um, so when, you're do, when you have a non-ideal situation, for example, Cabrini's running an AGM battery under the seat and a lithium battery in the tour pack. So obviously when the batteries are paralleled, the stator on the bike will charge both. So both batteries will be charging 14 volts. It will charge the lithium battery, but the lithium will not charge 100% because it wants to see 16 volts have a full charge. So you won't harm the battery, you can drive around. So all my customers that run lithium under the seat, I just have them plug the bike in twice a month, once every two weeks to top the battery completely off with their lithium charger when they get home. In Cabrini's situation, these batteries have to be charged separately. So when he gets home, he can't just throw the battery on the tender because A, the tender won't support two batteries. B, the tender will charge the AGM all the way up, but it will not charge the lithium all the way up. That's why you have to add a circuit breaker. So when you add a circuit breaker, like this one, you can interrupt the connection between the two batteries, throw the lithium charger on the tour pack battery, and then plug your regular AGM onto the tender through the factory tender plug. So since the connection between the two batteries is interrupted, you can charge the both batteries separately and not harm either battery. After both batteries are fully charged, you can go ahead and close the circuit breaker and reconnect both. Circuit breaker is by far the easiest way to do this. You could do it with a quick disconnect. You could do it with uh, a fuse by removing the fuse. But with the circuit breaker, all you have to do is hit the little reset button right there. That breaks the connection. You don't get easier than that. I recommend using a 200 amp breaker. That way the two batteries flow enough current between each other. If you're running a lithium battery in a tour pack, obviously all your amplifiers can be hooked up to that battery. And it's really, really easy to do. You just pick anywhere. Obviously in the tour pack would be the easiest spot to do it. You wanna do it in the tour pack close to the lithium battery, but you just put the breaker close to the lithium battery and you just hit the button on the breaker to break the connection between the two batteries then you can go ahead and charge the two batteries separately. I'm gonna give you a quick example and show you how the lithium battery resting is at 13.4 and the AGM battery is at 12.6. When I connect both batteries together, the AGM is gonna draw down the lithium and the lithium is actually gonna raise the voltage of the AGM battery. 
So we're here we have a standard Harley AGM battery and it's resting at 12.68. Here we have the Limitless Nano and it's resting at 13.4. So the breaker is open so the batteries are not connected to each other. That's one of the benefits of lithium. You start out with more voltage so your amplifiers have more voltage to work with right from the beginning. So the problem is when you close the breaker in parallel you're going to notice that this voltage drops and that voltage is going to increase. See that voltage dropping down? And this voltage has just jumped up to 13.3. Now the longer we leave them hooked up, the more this one's going to go down. Because what's happening is this battery is actually stealing voltage from this battery. Then when we open up the breaker, this one goes back down. And see, we are at a lower voltage than we started with because this battery stole charge from this battery. So this one went from 12.6 to 12.8, and this one dropped down to 13.3. So to charge them, you want to have your breaker open. Then you can go ahead and charge your Harley battery off the factory Harley tender. And the lithium battery would have a lithium charger like this one hooked up to it this charger charges at between 15 and 16 volts the standard Harley charger or the tender charges at 14 volts this is a standard circuit breaker from stinger you can get them anywhere um, any high quality circuit breaker will work very simple that closes the circuit that opens the circuit and that's it